Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Conquering Diabetes. I was thinking about how I've been asked before if I recommend a keto diet for uh, diabetic patients or, um, you know, just general low carb or whatever. And I was thinking, let me explain my thinking here. So a keto diet is one that is low carb to the point where your body starts burning fat for fuel instead of glucose. This state is called ketosis. That's where the keto diet gets its name. So my mom and I are low carb enough that we would be in ketosis. That wasn't our goal though. That's just how things turned out. For a lot of people though, being on a keto diet means tracking the macros. In other words, they follow a certain percentage for fat, protein, and carbs. So in that sense, no, we're not actually doing keto because we're not chasing those numbers. I think the best description of what we're doing is the blood sugar level diet or lifestyle. For my mom specifically, she eats foods that keeps her blood sugar level steady. That's animal proteins and fat with some veggies and dairy. She could do more vegetables, but she has issues with uncomfortable indigestion and she has a limited range that she can eat. My goal is feeling good and avoiding diabetes and other health issues like kidney stones and heart problems. My diet is almost identical to my mom's because those foods, that same foods that she eats, also make me feel good. I have a lot of stomach issues and food sensitivities, so I limit veggies and most fruit. I don't promote any one diet, so I'm not out here saying that you need to do keto, vegan, carnivore, vegetarian, paleo, or any other kind of diet. What I promote is finding the foods that keep your blood sugar out of the damage zone. I think that can be achieved in a variety of ways, which is why I'm happy when people post pictures of what they eat along with their blood sugar numbers. I post pics of what my mom and I eat in our Facebook groups because I know those meals are good for keeping the blood sugar low. But that's based on our perspective from our health needs and goals. You need to do what works for you though. Now, what's interesting too is that I've been asked before, well, how many carbs do you recommend in a day? I don't have a recommended carb amount because I don't know what each person needs. And here's the thing, even if you find out that you can only handle 30 carbs in a day without sending your blood sugar sky high, if it were me, and this was like, say, a couple years ago, I would have taken that 30 carbs and I would say, how many Oreo cookies can I have for 30 carbs? I I think it's four, by the way. But anyway, um, I know that that's how I would see it rather than chasing the goal of even and steady blood sugars. So for my mom, I wouldn't even say, oh, you know, mom, it looks like you can have 10 carbs in a day. No, we don't go by that. We go by what foods keep her blood sugar steady. Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.